Now let's try moving this. Let's try moving these class files in a different location. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click my project. So classroom example, I'm going to right click that new Java package. Okay. And then I'm going to call this package faculty. Okay. Hit finish. It's going to create a folder, a package, an empty package. And then I'm going to move our teacher class. I'm going to drag it and drop it to this new package called faculty. Okay. We're going to get this dialog box. Move class teacher. What Refactor will do is just going to add the necessary uh, code to make sure that the program will not break. I'm going to choose Refactor. So now we have moved the teacher class on a different package. If you notice, the icon for our main class has this error, a red mark on it. Let's go to the source code. Now we are getting errors. Okay. The refactor, when we, when when I choose refactor, it added this import statement, but it's still not working. This is due to what's called visibility. Class visibility determines what program can access which class. So by default in NetBeans, when we create a new class, it adds the keyword public to the class definition. A while ago, we deleted the uh, public keywords in our classes, making our class use the default behavior. So the default behavior will not allow access to classes that are on a different package. So to fix our program, we need to use the public keyword on our classes, especially if they are located on a different package. So back in that means, Let's open the teacher class and add the public keyword. And go back, let's go back to the main class. Now the error is gone. So now let's try to access the attribute. So all of them has the same attribute, which is the name. Let's try to access it. So Mendong that name. We can assign a name to Bentong. Benito. And let's see if there are no errors. Okay, so there are no errors. Let's see if we can access its uh, method. Bentong dot say hi. Okay. Let's build and run. It's gonna say hi, Benito. Let's uh, modify the method. Let's go back to the student class. Say hi. I'm let's concatenate that. Nice to meet you. Let's rerun our program. Hi, I'm Ben Benito Ong. Nice to meet you. Let's go back to the main method. Uh Let's do the same thing for our teacher. So our teacher is called Pedro. Name, let's assign a name. Peter. Okay, so we're getting an error. It says here, name is not public in teacher. So with our student, which is located on the same package as the main class, we don't have the problem. With our teacher who is located on a different package, we're getting this error. So this is another issue with visibility. Now let's open teacher. We simply add the keyword public. Hit save. Go back to the main method of the main class. Now the error is gone. Now let's say, Pedro, that say hi. Okay, now we're getting another error for the method this time. Okay, 
something that we don't get with our student again this is because of the visibility let's go to the teacher class and add the public keyword to the method so let's hit save go back to the main class main method now the problem is gone let's build and run okay so we need to modify the print line for our teacher like so let's build and run so now we have successfully accessed both attribute and methods of our teacher and student class okay so let's try to improve our diagram to better represent our uh, code so let's start with the student class so now we know that this should be public it should be a data type string in your class diagram you indicate that something is public using our plus symbol so this means public the minus symbol means private so for now we use plus sign for public okay and then the attribute name will be name colon the data type so this should be string so this better represents our code which is public string name the say hi method has a return type of void so we we need to update our diagram so after the parentheses we add a colon space void okay so this is now updated let's move on to the teacher class the name will be the same so public colon string and we also made the method public so public void say hi so remember the symbol so plus for public minus for private so we're still missing a couple of details to make this a legitimate class diagram we'll continue on the next video